President Sehel Work Zude of Ethiopia, is the leader for such a time as this. She recognizes that she is a role model to millions of young leaders on the African continent and diaspora. She represents Africa and the aspirations of the next generation of African leaders who are ready to lead Africa beyond survival to thriving and self-determination. I think the biggest part of being a girl boss in the office, at home, or anywhere you go is just knowing your value. Meghan Markle The condition for African leaders to attend Queen Elizabeth's funeral was that they be herded into a bus like school children. This was the unprecedented and unusual demand by King Charles III. The African leaders consented to this humiliation. President Sir Hull works you day like U.S. President Joe Biden firmly refused to be humiliated into riding a bus, opting for traditional transportation, befitting their positions as heads of state. This was standard protocol and insisting on observing security protocols. President Sohel understood that her voice mattered. President Sohel works you day, stood her ground, refusing to commit to the event if the security protocol was not followed. The British were dismayed that an African leader knew her worth and demanded respect. They tried to bully her into submission, leaking the details to the vicious tabloid press. President Zhu Day stood her ground. King Charles folded and granted her request. As President Sohel Work Zhu Day stepped out of her own car, the image said head of state, leader of Africans. The world recognized that she knew her value. This is the power of presence. Image is everything and perception is reality. The rest of the African leaders hopped off the bus that image communicated that they saw themselves as minions, the subject of the British Empire. There is no dignity in African leaders packed in a bus like sardines, allowing themselves to be disrespected. Women in Africa have been called on to lead. African women's empowerment is different from European women's feminism. It is about fighting for security and protection. Every African female leader knows that women and men protect the homeland. No gender wars. It's not about seeking power over men. It is about protecting the children and defending the homeland and its resources from enemies both foreign and domestic. Upholding the great legacy of Ubuntu to ensure peace and prosperity for all the people, so that Africans never again have to bend their knees in their own land, whether to Charles or William or China. We would like to hear from you. Tell us about a time you led by your values and exercise independent thinking. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with friends and royal fans. It will be good for their mental health. Give us a super thanks, super sticker and super chat, and join channel membership. Subscribe to the Duchess of Impact channel. Hit that bell icon, so you never miss any updates. Thanks for watching.